got together and was like, I want to shoot it. I'm like, all right. Cleaned it up, met it with pugs, and um, and I'm getting shot from mini truck. And then I think two months, three months later, found out the magazine was going down. I was like, man. Go from Tyler, Texas. I roll with Committed Car Club High School. It was either me play football or me get a my mom told me I got to get a job and I want to buy a vehicle. So sure enough, I ended up buying my first mini. Worked at Jason's Deli. <laughs> Man, I was doing bus boy and uh, wait tables. I wanted that truck. Yeah, bought the truck back in 04, and this was my very first mini truck, and I still own it to this day. Put a thousand dollars down, I didn't know how to drive it. Yeah, it had a 3.3 drop, had a Phantom grill and 18s, and it was silver paint at the time, and had a cut out in the window tent. There was a tribal flames inside the side window tent and on the back glass. I thought it was the shit. My godfather was helped me out do uh, some stuff on the S10 back in the day. When I first bought it, going through it, checking it out, going through the motor, uh, little things, spark plugs, wires, flush the transmission out, put a new filter in it, put a new fluid in it. I think it was when it was sitting there cut up in my garage and Ryan Benedict came over and helped me. It was like, man, we can't do this. So we pretty much packed everything I had was still salvageable, loaded on the trailer and we took it to his mom's house. And, uh, Chris Sylvie gave me a new frame. We used the front clip off it and then traditional body drop the cab. And me, Ryan, and Chad did the back half on it. We had it on 18s and 20s then. And then I was like, man, I gotta go bigger. It's a mini, I want, a, I want big wheels on it. So Ryan has some set of 22s that's sitting there. So like, let's try it out. Let's see what happens. And, uh, Sure enough, we had to cut some more of the firewall and more of the back of the bed, and sure enough, it laid out. I was like, I can't go nothing smaller. <laughs> the reason why I put it on the back burner is because I had more ideas I wanted to do to it. I just not, I didn't want to just rush it. So I bought my taco. It was already bagged on 18s. I'm not much more into buying stuff, but it was a good little truck. I needed a vehicle at the time. I paid two grand for this little little uh, Toyota Tacoma 97, and I started doing little stuff here and there. It was kind of hard for me because it was my only vehicle. I can only do so much, but I, I always had in the back of my mind, I still had the S10 because I wanted to build the S10 and have another truck so I can go to shows and enjoy it. My first show was actually Tex-Mex 09. Actually attending the show, that was, that was my first actual mini trucker show to go to, and that opened my eyes to this scene. On the wildness, the, the party, the trucks, and that's what pulled me in. One of my goals was actually get one of my vehicles actually shot for mini trucking. And I thought it was be the coolest thing ever. Finally got it to that point, and Jason Pugs got together and was like, man, I want to shoot it. I was like, all right. Cleaned it up, met it with pugs, and um, and I'm getting shot from mini truck. And then I think two months, three months later, found out the magazine was going down. I was like, man, I knew even though I got shot for it and it didn't run, I still had little pop shots in from LST. Two t two years in a row from LST, and I thought that was the coolest thing ever. You little hard body, <laughs> hanging out with Chris Sylvie at a little local show in Jacksonville. And I was sitting there talking, I'm like, man, I know I got the S10 still, but I always wanted a hard body. I wanted to go the old school, but a little bit of a twist to it. I was like, man, if, if I could find one, that'd be cool. Not expensive, dirt cheap as possible. Two weeks later, Chris calls me, hey, I found a hard body in Jacksonville. You wanna buy it? I was like, how much? Like, send me pictures. Man, it was bad shape. I was like, how much he wants for it? He's like, $1,200. I'm like, can you get down in the, little, in the lower? He was like, well, let me talk to him. 
I was like, all right. An hour later, he's like, all right, I bought it. It's at my house. I was like, okay, how much do I owe you? <laughs> he's like, we'll just talk later. I was like, all right. So went down there, finally got to see it in person. And me and Chris made a deal, and he had, I ended up buying it, back, buying it from Chris. Brought it to the shop. I was sitting there looking at it, walking around and seeing what I want to do. First, it was going to be just a drop with some wheels on it. And I was thinking, like, man, I got so much stuff. I can actually bag this thing pretty cheap. So slowly starting buying little things I needed. And right here in this shop, I end up bagging it. Two months later, I'm sitting there driving it to Turkey Drag. 2010, I think. <laughs> Found some 4x4 fenders, had Brian Z71 wheels on it. Yeah, that was just when it was in white with a black front end and the, on the bad camber on the front end on it. And uh, that's the one thing. I went to Louisiana talking to a few Nissan Hardbody guys, and they were like, oh, you're going to need this, you're going to need that. I laid it out on stock suspension, everything. And I ain't scared to drag it, drive it, anything. In that stage, and I started collecting all the parts to actually make it that give it that feel of old school mini truck, the billets, the clear tail lights, the camper shell, and uh, this everything started falling in its place. It got this part, got that part, and finally I was able to put it together, and it's what you see today. Right before I was about to paint it, I was looking for a camper shell. I wanted that Pacific camper shell, the Pathfinder look. Couldn't find one, I was like, I gotta get this thing painted before LSD. Painted it, not even two months later, I'm scrolling through Facebook uh, Marketplace. Sure enough, there it is in New Orleans, Louisiana. So I called up Worm, I was like, hey, can you do me a favor? Can you run down there and get this camper, short, camper shell for me? He's like, I got you. I'm like, all right, text me later. All right, I'm meeting the guy this weekend, and I got it cheaper. <laughs> like, even be even better, man. <laughs> and then uh, once I got it, I noticed that it wasn't the right camper shell. It was too long. It was for extended cab hard body. So we ended up having to cut seven eighths out of it, shorten it to fit the single cab, and cut out for the uh, third brake light. Painted it at Chris Sylvie's uh, shop, open shop paint job. I wanted to do a two-tone, but it was kind of hard on these hard bodies because the front end just dips down. So I was like, eh, I got to figure out some way to make it look decent, but not too crazy. I also wanted to do the flake job on some. I was like, because I flaked Chris, Chris's bug and Brandon's uh, 56. So I went to the paint store, started buying all the paint. And the, while I was sitting there mixing everything up, I poured a little bit of some in there. I was like, that ain't enough. So I pour more, and I ain't enough either. Pour a little bit more, like that's it. Just went to town. <laughs> Probably get a hate on, on on this a lot, but I actually like out of state shows more than Texas shows. Seeing something new. Going on like ever since I got the hard body, and I've been driving it every show. The last three out of state shows I drove it to, I got to see something different. Drove it from Tyler, Texas, all the way to Waveland, Indiana, 18 hours in a little mini truck on um, 18-inch billets, just enjoying it and driving it cross country. Like that's what I built the truck for. Is actually I can jump in it and cruise and enjoy driving my truck. I, the way I can clear my head, roll with all my friends, like how we did at Battle in Bama. That's why some people ask me or tell me. Man, you're, you're crazy driving that truck all the way across the country. i like, man, if it's going to break, it's going to break. I got tools. I got extra rims and tires. It's on me. If it breaks, I'll fix it, and I'll keep on rolling. Now that the hard body, I've been two years building it, and it's finally to that point where I can just jump in it and just wash it and just enjoy driving it while I'm tinkering with the S10. Uh, I've got a few things i got planned here pretty soon, but... It'll be coming out soon. What else do I have planned for it? I actually drive it. Even though it's going to be on 22s, body dropped, um, carbureted 350, it's going to be a driver too. It probably won't be a drive across country, but I'll definitely drive it.
I'm not scared to. It's actually in this where our, my shop is right now, a few bays down, Justin Russian was bagging it. The rear was already bagged in the front. Like, all right, got it out. First time I fully bagged truck was back in 07, 08. Came to the shop, picked it up. Went with Ryan and Justin to Buffalo Wild Wings when it first opened on down South Broadway. Don't ever listen to your drunk friends. <laughs> so we end up going, I end up going railing the S10 up down Broadway, probably about a good hour and a half of just dragging down Broadway. And sure enough, I broke it right in front of timeout. So I end up had a, we had to end up living at home because the weight on the rear end hit the wishbone, bottom and out, going across the loop. And uh, it finally broke right in front of timeout. And we had to drive it two miles or three, three or four miles, I can't remember, to my house and I had to fix it like a week later. Shout out to my mom. Yeah, she freaked, she freaked the hell out when she saw me first time me dra dragging this thing down the highway. <laughs> Call me at work, it's like, what the hell's wrong with you? You're gonna blow up. <laughs> I'm like, I'm good. We made it that way. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe to Built a Cruise and keep on enjoying the videos.